This is called the Gospel Transformation Diagram. So when we first surrendered our life to Christ, it was because God's holiness, His perfection, uh, was unveiled to us. We were able to see Him um, holy like He really is, as well as we were able to see our own sinfulness and our need for a Savior. Sinfulness unveiled. And then we realized that Jesus Christ was the only one that can fill the gap between God's standard of perfection and our un inability to measure up to it. Um, but Jesus can. He came and lived the perfect life that we couldn't live. But at that moment, uh, we're going to continue to grow in our relationship with God. And we're going to continue to get to know God more and understand His holiness more, understand uh, how much he deserves, and that is going to continue to be unveiled to us more and more at the same time as our own sinful and fallen nature is going to be revealed to us. So as we grow and into strong believers in Christ, um, we're going to recognize our sin more and more. And what our tendency is to do is to uh, remember that Jesus died on the cross, um, but to, to just remember that um, he died on the cross for us and um, in order to, to get to us to heaven. And then we start relying on our own efforts and um, performance acceptance to make ourselves right before God. So we fill in the standard with how we're trying by our own effort to attain acceptance before God after coming to Christ. But really what we need to do is to let Jesus, the, our view of the cross, and Jesus be our sufficiency as our understanding of our own sinfulness grows and the understanding of God's holiness grows. So really what this means is that when we fail, we need to keep our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, and trust his sufficiency to fill the gap instead of relying on our own effort of trying real hard, um, trying harder. Uh, so I hope this is helpful. Thank you. Bye-bye.